Klein with Cedric Grolet, and we was without uh, Croissant, and now Klein. Yeah. You want to give up? Tome tua esperanza. Morta. We're almost in. Hey, no, was bad the way. That was pretty bad. All right, we're here. We made it. Yeah. No, not today. I'm not this year. We have some small issue uh, with the bird flu, you know. So uh, the price of the foie gras is very high. So we cannot propose uh, that uh, this year because it's going to be too expensive for our guests. So, we share the water. Let's take some. I'm so overwhelmed. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Ice the bread. You're gonna go with hot bread? He's fighting you. Oh lord, oh my gosh. It looks like one. I know you already did this, but I'm very it's a little different. A little different. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. I saw it. It looks like one. I'm on it. It looks like one. Go. A nice sandwich. <laughs> It tastes so good. But I can't look at it. I, I'm on it. I can't look at it. I need you to eat that one. I, I saw it. I can't. <laughs> it tastes really good, but I can't look at it. You eat that one. I think I need you to take them out for me. I make your sandwich? Yes, please. It's like mental, I can't see it. You know? Okay, going. The next one. I can't look at it. The first meal we had. We'll put the clip in the video so you can see it. I just put the whole thing in my mouth. Well, maybe just like, yeah, a bite. Yeah, has the, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, make a nice sandwich. Put the sandwich. <laughs> I'm gonna do yes. it. Okay. And I chew it, right? Yeah. I don't swallow. <laughs>
It's great, yeah. To Paris. Ah, yeah. to Paris. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. No need brand. No, I'm so yeah. glad. <laughs> exactly, that's what you need to do. French. Yeah. It was better. It was more garlicky, more buttery. This, you can definitely taste the earth. Like, I can taste dirt, I think. Alors, le bourguignon. Perfect. So, macaroni and cheese. I don't know why I don't skip this thing. <laughs> okay. okay, we decide to sleep through. We had to sleep on it, ragazzi. Because it could be a two different reaction from last night <laughs> and today. And when we 
we have a little more clarity in and sleep. We eat just a croissant just for chill out mm -hmm. more. So what do you think? <clears throat> what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm glad to come in Paris and try the typical food mm -hmm. because now I know okay, Italy is safe. <laughs> I always heard, oh, French make really good stuff, you know, and to be honest, for me, struggling finish the stuff Okay, I... It was, it was a struggle. Yeah, because I'm from North Italy. We eat uh, kind of weird stuff too. Mm -hmm. Really start weird stuff. We're going to show you because Alessio's region, especially during World War II, was hit really hard with the lack of food. So they had to really eat anything that they could find, you know? Yeah. And through the generations, that tradition stayed. So you do eat a lot of weird stuff there. Yeah, but <clears throat> no. Not this level. This surprised us, I think. Yeah. Uh, but we understand uh, completely. I get the concept. The concept mm. is keep doing. And then. The concept was this, this these places, the bouillon, were the places where the working class would come and eat lunch. So the food was, you know not the highest level of quality and it was affordable yeah i understand it was affordable so the tradition continues maybe if i go to another restaurant maybe michelin mm -hmm. or not michelin but if they make the same steam, type of food gonna be better example the the snails we figured out it was much better the first time At we eat, yeah can we eat the snails was really good respect this it was good but not the same level the sausage that we had is apparently a very popular sausage here. If you're not used to eating, we, we found out last night when I got home, I was researching what exactly was in the sausage. It's like tripe and intestines. So tripe is like the lining of the stomach of the pig and then the intestines. It's an acquired taste, I think. Another thing to mention was like the French fries were very frozen. Oh, everything was frozen, like the profiterole, the things. The puff pastry was frozen. Yeah. I was shocked that when we ate the profiterole, I had flavors of America in my mouth. Like, I swear, we have the same frozen puff pastry. You fill it with vanilla ice cream from your grocery store. You've got a Hershey's fudge sauce, that flavor of the fake chocolate from mm -hmm. Hershey's. And then you have a Ready Whip cool yeah. up on the top. Yeah. It was literally the flavor of America that I've had so often that I did not expect. Here. No. So did we love the food? Just the first things. We loved and, the appetizers. And, yeah. Yes. The egg. We moved the snail, the egg, the, the other thing. And the leek. And the leek was were, good. were all good. And I was thinking it was a good start. I think if you want the experience of eating in that traditional place, like the working class, because it is a little bit of like a an experience to go somewhere historic like that, you can definitely go. Just be prepared for what you're going to get. I think we were expecting something different, so yeah. we're a little surprised. So this is it. This is our opinion. Obviously, we I don't know the price range when we go there. We was I was expecting high price, and then it was super cheap. So that was even mine, because everybody sent me there. So I was thinking, oh, the French, they're going to send me in a high cuisine instead it was like normal cuisine but all right this is the review that i know we hit too much harder and we yeah i think we were fair in our review and now 